out of time, they're running out of steam, and they've even stopped believing themselves. Just look at him. He looks exhausted from years of lying. Withdrawn. I, I don't have the answer to that question. I simply don't know. I can ask the military and get you. I've watched this Israeli spokesperson for a very long time. I've seen him on our screens for many years. In fact, since I was a young adult, I think. And he was always very confident. He was always very sure of himself. He's not that sure of himself these days. He seems to be quite worn and drained of making the same old lies because technology has caught up with men like him. You see, back in the day, they would be able to say whatever they wanted with the utmost of confidence. And as long as they were eloquent and as long as they believed it, the rest of the world would believe it too. But now you can see that he is simply running out of lies and he's running out of steam because he's been repeating himself for a very long time but it's falling on deaf ears now because the world can finally see through technology through the mobile phone through the lens of the camera through social media through TikTok, that men like this were always and were always going to be liars you see he only has one interest his interest is not in the truth he's a spokesperson for the Israeli propaganda machine. So his only job is to keep spreading lies and to keep denying the truth. But finally, he's now cornered and he's forced to say that he doesn't know. In fact, I predict that men like him will one day suddenly leave their posts and go back to their lives wherever they're from. I mean, he sounds like he's from either New Zealand or Australia, I don't know. I'm not well versed in accents from that part of the world, but it's going to be one or the other, isn't it? Probably New Zealand, right? That's how he sounds. He sounds like he was originally from there. You know what? I predict that one day he'll suddenly disappear. Nobody will see him again because he himself has had enough of lying for a career. The world now knows through technology, through social media, through a simple mobile phone like the one I'm holding, that people like this are simply lying. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even get briefed anymore. He just turns up to these shows with Piers Morgan and others, and he just falls into the same routine that he's been doing for so many years. It's like a comedy routine, isn't it? Once a comedian gets used to it, they can just do it naturally. This guy is doing his lying routine, and he's been doing it for so long, he does it naturally. The problem is, the problem is that the truth is finally out, and people like this are running out of time, they're running out of steam, and they've even stopped believing themselves. Just look at him. He looks exhausted from years of lying. Withdrawn. 